Hello everybody, welcome back. And if you're new, my name is Chris. It is the last week in October, and that always makes me think of sweet treats. And I love to wear my sweet, ooey gooey fragrances as well. I can't believe it's been almost a year since I've been on YouTube and I haven't filmed a single gourmand video. What better time than now? I pulled about 25 fragrances at first, and guess what? They do not fit on my mantle, so I had to narrow it down to 15, and they didn't even include my vanillas. I'm going to do a separate cold weather vanilla video in about a week or two. So if you want to see what I have pulled for my ooey gooey, yummy delicious gourmand video today, well, please keep watching. This next fragrance is a very true to life caramel, salted caramel popcorn fragrance and it's by Shea and Blue and it is called Salt Caramel. This I love to wear when it's cold outside, the sun is shining and maybe I'm wearing a big fuzzy jacket or a fuzzy sweater. The notes in here are pretty straightforward. There's salt, caramel, tonka and sandalwood. Oh my gosh. I think this is like many gourmands. This is probably a love or maybe a strong dislike depending on how it wears on your skin. It is such a true to life salted caramel popcorn fragrance, but in the dry down it becomes more of a, like a caramel biscuit to me. And just yummy, love it, starting my list with this one. Next one up is one of my very favorite gourmands. It is one of my favorite chocolate based fragrances or chocolate centered fragrances. It is by Montal and it is called Chocolate Greedy. I absolutely love this. This just blew me away when I first sampled it. This has cacao, vanilla, it has tonka. I believe it has like a, a bitter orange, maybe some dried fruits and coffee. And to me, this just smells like powdery, chocolatey, vanilla goodness that smells like um, a packet of freshly opened hot cocoa mix or even that cereal like i think it's cocoa pebbles that's what it smells like to me it is a perfect yummy scrumptious gourmand that i love to wear this time of the year next one up is my scent of the day it is one of the very few lemony gourmand fragrances i wear in the cold weather because it's one of the Few are the only lemon-based fragrance that actually holds up in this cold weather. Not only does it hold up, but it is it is a powerhouse. This is a powerhouse fragrance. I think you know which one I'm talking about, especially if you saw my Instagram account today or yesterday. And it's by Kerosene. This is called Unknown Pleasures. Oh my goodness gracious! This is a this is a lemon bomb with um, Earl Grey tea and waffle cone. The lemon is sweet and strong. The tea has a nice, oh, gives it a nice earthiness, just a touch. This is not earthy, but just kind of keeps it from being overly sweet. And there's just a perfect amount of sweetness. The vanilla and caramel notes do kind of conjure up a waffle cone situation going on in here. This is amazing this does smell differently to different people in my house um my husband thinks i smell like thai food when i wear this and my daughter says i smell like a coconut cookie but i get like lemon caramel goodness that lasts all day and it is one of my favorite gourmands next one up is the best coffee fragrance i have ever smelled i tried getting a hold of this bottle about a year ago but i was having some difficulty getting it shipped to the united states and then i saw my dear friend veronica over at veronica says she showed this in one of her videos so i figured that the shipping had all gotten worked out of course i messaged her and said can you send me a sample and when she did i absolutely loved it and was was on the website that day ordering this one and several other bottles and it is called coffee addict and is by theodoros calatonas and let me tell you if you are a coffee lover i'm going to go out on a limb and say this is at least a must try this is just oh my gosh this is a phenomenal coffee fragrance this um this is one of the few fragrances that i can honestly say i smell every single note that is listed um, on the website are listed in the fragrance. There is coffee, there's caramel, 
there's chocolatey or cacao and there is vanilla and that's basically what you get this is like a oh, so good i know what coffee smells and tastes like i have at least two cups a day this is like you made a cafe mocha and then you added caramel syrup and a little bit of vanilla creamer that's oh gosh that's exactly what this smells like it is amazing i think this runs around 45 euros and this this lasts all day on me i got a good five six hours with this fragrance again if you are a coffee lover this is a this is not only a gourmand a, a rich yummy sweet decadent gourmand but it is the best coffee fragrance i have ever smelled speaking of chocolate and fragrances is another chocolate centered fragrance that i absolutely love this is just simplistic goodness and is by gallagher fragrances it is called wicked good there are only three notes listed there is milk chocolate um, madagascar vanilla and tonka bean and this is just like i said this is just simplistic yummy chocolatey goodness this is like a semi-sweet chocolate bar which dries down very rich and the more it dries down the more it just kind of pulls vanilla on me so it starts off like a like a milk chocolate bar and then throughout the day it just dries down to a nice kind of slightly powdery powdery vanilla it is absolutely delicious and that's why it made my list wicked good whenever i think of caramel in a fragrance i always think of my beloved casablanca i know it's an oldie but a goodie but this thing is a powerhouse it's very inexpensive and it lasts all day now i think the notes there is um there's like grapes in here and caramel but what i get i get a caramel vanilla whipped cream pear grape situation it is it's light but decadent at the same time and i do not wear this in the summer because it's too strong it's a little bit too much for me but it is perfect for this time of the year particularly when i want something really sweet decadent and heavy i always reach for this one next one up is a love or a hate fragrance i have said before in other videos that i think you either love this fragrance you think it's spectacular or you find it absolutely disgusting. I happen to be on the I love this fragrance and it has sentimental value to me because this is the fragrance that I bonded with um, my friend Melissa Jean over at um, Melissa Jean Fragrances. We both absolutely love this fragrance. Now, this came out a couple years ago and I first smelled this in downtown Chicago, you know, kind of on the Magnific magnificent mile i spent all day sniffing fragrances and this was my very favorite one however the price i think it was like 450 dollars so i walked out empty-handed and i couldn't get it out of my mind and then about sometime last year maybe early 2020 i found this on a discounter website i just think that it is such a a love or a hate fragrance it didn't sell well um, in the mass market so it's kind of really showing up on a lot of the discounter websites so i bought a bottle and i bought a backup i love it so much but it is not for everyone this is a fragrance that is centered around chestnut this is like a chestnut centered fragrance it is a milky fragrance with like a toasted chestnut this has coffee this has cacao this has vanilla this has sandalwood this has some sort of peppery spice maybe it's just pepper but it there's definitely a peppery hit off the top that kind of lasts throughout the fragrance this is addictive to me this is everything i want in a gourmand i love it and i do only wear it in the cold because on me it's just really strong and i think i heard my friend melissa jean describe this as smelling like cinnamon toast crunch and i get that i really do but oh my gosh one of my very favorite gourmands to wear this time of the year. Another Gallagher fragrance, another one of my very favorite gourmands. I only wear it this time of the year when it's cold because it is strong, it's a powerhouse, and it is sweet. And it is called Rose All Day 
The notes are right on the front. There's apple, apple crisp plum. There is brown sugar, tonka bean, and a note of stainless steel, which for me is very hard to describe. It's, it's more of a textural thing and almost, almost spicy, but this is just, oh my gosh. I think again, this is another kind of a, you either absolutely love it or you don't care for it at all. I absolutely love this fragrance and wear the heck out of it this time of the year. Next one up is a gourmand that I have been loving for a couple years. It is a perfect transitional scent. It's a great scent for the fall and I love it because it is an apple scented fragrance and I have seen it on other videos so I know it's getting love out there as well. And this is called, I'm just going to sh shorten it by saying La Danza. Okay, this is La Danza and I think this translates into the dance of the dragonflies or the flight of the dragonflies. But it's a it's a very light gourmand this is a light airy gourmand the star of the show is like a red apple this is red apple this is whipped cream this is cinnamon a little bit of light woods probably cedar or sandalwood and a splash of caramel this is this just screams this time of the year end of october fall heading into the winter delicious Next one up is one of my very favorite gourmands. This is a fragrance I absolutely love to wear in the colder months. I wish it was just a little bit stronger, but I love it. Nevertheless, it is by Tiziana Terenze and it is called Al Contrario, which um, translates into to the contrary. And I think that's because of the notes listed. It has some delicate notes and it has some stronger notes. So the delicate notes listed are the floral notes are orchid, there's orchid, there's vanilla, there is cacao, there's hazelnut, ebony woods. Um, oh my gosh. So those notes just kind of come together and make just such, in my opinion, a spectacular, yummy gourmand. Oh my gosh. This does dry down into what I feel smells like a, like a vanilla pudding meets a tiramiso cheesecake. That's what I get out of this. Oh, mm, so, so good. Love the fragrance. Not a, not a fan of the bottle. The, not a fan of the big bottle. So you have this huge lid and the teeny part where the fragrance is, is this teeny tiny part. But anyways, absolutely um, unisex or shared fragrance. And this is light. You have to be heavy on the trigger. You have to overspray and kind of spray again if you want to smell this throughout the day but i'm willing to overlook the somewhat uh, lack of strength and lack of longevity because to my nose this smells so spectacularly good another gourmand i love to wear this time of the year is one by killian share this one is called angel share i think everybody is familiar with this or has heard of it at least and that this one is centered around cognac, the note of cognac, but it also has cinnamon, it has tonka, I believe it has oak or some other wood. Oh my gosh, this is so, so yummy. But this kind of smells like a really rich, sweet um, apple cinnamon, like an apple cinnamon cider or an apple pie, something somewhere in the middle of there. Just, it's boozy, it's gourmand, it, it kind of screams cold weather and cold weather holidays. It's light and strong at the same time. So I, I absolutely love it. It's going to get a lot of use the next couple months. Next one up is just a super fun, sweet fragrance for me. I have loved it ever since I got it. I think the beginning of 2020, I saw it in a magazine and I ordered it and fell in love with this one and many from the line. This is by the House of Keith. She's kind of the queen of gourmands, at least the queen of inexpensive fun gourmands in my opinion. This is a super sweet um, marshmallowy vanilla. The notes in here are marshmallow, sugar, and vanilla. So much fun to wear. This is just a very true to life, puffy, sweet marshmallow. And I have a good friend, Susan, who is a fragrance aficionado. She knows more about vanillas. She has tried more vanillas. She has probably tried fragrances that none of us have heard of. 
and I sent her, uh, I, we did this kind of fun little hidden sample swap, a mystery swap where I sent her tons of uh, samples and they were labeled one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I didn't tell her what the fragrances were and I asked for her to tell me what her favorites were. And out of all of them, I had some fragrances that were in the $300 range and some that were very inexpensive. And this one was one of her very favorites. She absolutely loves it. This is just, if you like sweet, fun, vanillic, marshmallow fragrances, this one is hard to beat, particularly for the price. I'm gonna end the list with another Keys fragrance, another fun, whimsical, super sweet gourmand fragrance that I absolutely love. This is called Gâteau de Carnival. I can assure you a bigger bottle is in my future, but I wanna be responsible and finish off my small bottle first. This basically means carnival cake and that's exactly what it smells like. The, uh, I think the four notes in here are cupcake, brown sugar, vanilla, and apricot, and it just smells exactly like a a carnival cake or a funnel cake that has whipped cream poured on top of it. <laughs> this is so good. This is buttery and sweet and cakey and, oh gosh, it's just a foodie vanilla all the way. This one is not as strong as Delizia de Marshmallow, but I can get at least four or five hours of, I. this one I love. Not for everybody though. So that wraps up my decadent, ooey gooey, yummy, delicious gourmand video. The first gourmand video of many to come. Again, I'm going to do my cold weather vanillas in the next week or so. And I'd love to hear from you what rich and thick and ooey gooey gourmands are you wearing this time of the year? Go ahead and drop me, leave a note in the, in the comment section. Again, thank you for sticking around. Thank you for all those who support me and I will see you on the next one. Yes, I have a day off. Okay, ladies, go take a nap. Next one up is one of my very favorite gourmand fragrances. I only wear it during...